Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. It's a beautiful morning with some light cloud in the sky, and it forecast to be going to be a very hot day. And this will be great for the corn. It will go even faster. Now this corn has been planted only about six to seven weeks ago, and they are really going gangbuster. And uh, it has predicted by 4th of July, which is only about uh, two weeks away, uh, they will be about waist height. Well, uh, this is how fast the corn is growing. Okay, so let's talk about today's video, how to make a sauce uh, for your stir fry. Uh, I have a friend and he loves ketchup. In fact, he put ketchup on almost everything. And this is why he got this t-shirt. Uh, he has another ketchup t-shirt and in this one he want to make sure that his wife know what is his priority. Uh, I think we all know how important sauce are uh, in what we eat. A uh, ketchup is a good example but we put sauce on almost everything that we eat. Uh, the reason is that sauce enhances the flavor of the food that we eat. In fact, recently I come across a quote, it said uh, we love sauce first uh, before we love the food. And now I make sauce all the time when I cook, but I use different strategies to make sauces uh, in my stir frying. It has great deal to do with the food ingredients, as well as what I want to emphasize in the dish. And in my fast cooking system, which has the four attributes of flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking, a flavor chasing is a significant aspect of the cooking system. And you probably would guess that making the right sauce uh, is central to flavor chasing. Uh, however, there are different approaches in how to make the right sauce for a particular dish because there are no universal sauce and uh, every time when you cook a dish depend on your objective of what you want to achieve in regard to the flavor of the dish you will use different approach uh, so in this video i'm going to describe to you the five approaches that i use uh, in making sauces for different circumstances and this will provide you a general principle or guidelines that for you to use and you can make modifications and adjustments depend on the need of the situation. The first as well as the most simplest form of sauce is the cooking fluids that are generated during the stir frying process. And this could happen in two different ways. Uh, the first way is that many food ingredients contain moisture, so when you cook them, this moisture will be released as fluid uh, into the wok. Uh, the second way is the fluid add to the wok during the stir frying process, particularly during the final stage when you're cooking vegetables in the wok, you add fluid uh, to the wok to steam the vegetables. Uh, this will allow you to create a light sauce uh, that is infused with the flavor of the food ingredients. Uh, you can determine how much you want to make the sauce depending on the amount of fluid that you add to the wok. And you can also concentrate the sauce uh, by simply boil down the fluid. Uh, you can then flavor the sauce uh, by adding seasoning agents uh, from the, such as uh, those in my masala daba. Uh, you can uh, leave the sauce the way that it is, uh, or you can thicken it by adding cornstarch, uh, which is a topic that I'm going to adjust uh, later in this video as well. Uh, in summary, making this sauce is very simple and straightforward, and the goal is to preserve the natural flavor of the food ingredients. And when you stir fry in a wok with natural surfaces, no matter how well you season it, uh, food ingredients sometimes burn to the surface of the wok. It turns out that this burn material actually has wonderful flavor and it is great if you could retrieve them and put them back into the dish. Uh, so I developed this method which I call it spot cleaning uh, which is based on another well-known method known as deglazing. Uh, by adding a small amount of water to the wok 
as you are cooking,、uh, you notice that the water would turn into steam almost immediately. And when you together using the wash spatula,、uh, you can easily detach this burnt material from the surface of the wok.、Uh, using this method, it allows you to retrieve this burnt material and add it back to the flavor of the dish. And this method has another great advantage. Uh, because it also allow you to clean the wok as you cook, and this is the reason I call it spot cleaning. It definitely makes cleaning the wok later on much easier and faster. And this method turned out to be excellent、uh, any time when you notice that you have food particles that burn to the surface of the wok. By adding a small amount of water、uh, to detach this burnt food materials, now you have created a sauce for the dish. And the third approach is to use pre-made sauces to define the flavor of the dish. It could range from minor adjustments to major change, and that would lead to masking the natural flavor of the food ingredients. Uh, these sauces are defined in such a way. When the cook uses these sauces in their dish,、uh, it creates the characteristics of a particular cuisine. A prime example is soy sauce.、Uh, every time you use soy sauce, it will remind the characteristics of a Chinese dish.、Uh, however, the cook has a lot of flexibility depending on the amount of these sauces that they use in their dish. And it is through the combination of the sauces from different types of cuisine that lead to the creation of fusion dishes.、Uh, over the years, I have tried different combinations, and I arrive at the combination that I prefer most. My favorite combination of、uh, the sauces available to me in my kitchen、uh, is oyster sauce and hoisin sauce. I use them in various amounts、uh, to create. The sauces that I want are depending on the dish that I am cooking, and because I use them in such regularity, I have put them in squeeze bottles that will facilitate the dispensing. I also purchase them in cans, which normally used by restaurants are for cost efficiency. At most supermarket, you will find on the shelf there are many pre-made special sauces for some of the more Iconic dishes. I do not use these sauces quite often、uh, because I find them to be restrictive in defining what the flavor is going to be for the dish. But I always have、uh, several bottles on hand、uh, because they are very convenient.、Uh, particularly if I walk into the kitchen and I would like to have a dinner in about、uh, 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, I will reach for one bottle of these sauces, especially if I know what I want.、Uh, most of the time, I use it straight from the bottle, but occasionally I will make changes、uh, by adding some other、uh, seasoning agents or other sauces.、Uh, the consistency of a sauce could play a significant role in the culinary experience,、uh, sometimes of the same dish. A thicker sauce versus a thinner sauce could make quite a bit difference in how the food ingredients taste.、Uh, every Thanksgiving, I always charge with the duty、uh, to make the gravy, because everyone told me that my gravy is of perfect consistency, not too thin and not too thick.、Uh, there are two ways、uh, to thicken a sauce、uh, in stir frying. Uh, the first way is by simply sprinkle some cornstarch、uh, over the food ingredients in the wok.、Uh, this method works very well、uh, when you have significant amount of fluid in the wok, and by stirring the cornstarch consistently and quickly,、uh, it will prevent it from forming lumps. However, this will not work、uh, if you want to create gravy when there are only very little amount of fluid in the wok. In this case, you need to create a cornstarch water suspension first, and then add it to the wok, and this will prevent the cornstarch from clumping. So here is a brief overview of the five different approaches that you could use to create a sauce during stir frying. This would be a good place for you to start. 
Uh, some of the approach is very simple, some a little bit more complicated. And for each dish, the situation is slightly different and require different approach. Uh, in my future videos, I will provide more specific instructions uh, in regard to that particular dish. Uh, the goal of my fast cooking system is to make home cooking practical, efficient, creative, and fun. And this is also applied to making sauces. I want to make sure that it is spontaneous and intuitive. Uh, so you can create the perfect sauce uh, for the dish when you are cooking it uh, through observations and then you make adjustments accordingly. Uh, to me, there is no better way to cook than this. And this is also what makes home cooking fun as well as sustainable. I post a video every day to help people to understand as well as to adopt my fast cooking system or to make home cooking as their everyday routine. This is not only a long-term investment of their health as well as we're able to cook the food that they love and enjoy. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.